Hey guys, welcome back to another tips and tricks video for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now today I got a pretty interesting trick for you guys as to how you can level up your characters, especially Goku, very very fast or at least faster than the game will allow you by doing some of the sub quests as well as doing like farming the mobs and stuff like that. Now as you guys know, once you finish the storyline, you should be at around level anywhere from 70 to 80. And then from 80 to 100, they really rely on you either farming mobs, doing some of the harder subquests, bringing back enemies, so forth, etc. Now what I found is actually an easier way to where you can do probably around 650,000 experience points each minute. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that today. Now before we go ahead and get into that, what I need you guys to do is go ahead and subscribe to this channel. In addition to that, let's go for at least 5 likes on the video. And if you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and drop them below and I will definitely go ahead and respond. Now obviously of course there are some prerequisites that you guys need in order to make this work. And I'll go through each and every single one so that way you guys get this down packed. Now the first thing that you guys need is you're going to need to go to the capsule corporation and in the training room go ahead and talk to the female researcher. Once you talk to that female researcher, if you haven't done it already, you're going to have to upgrade your training room quite a bit all the way up to at least level 8. Level 8 is where you're going to want to be. So with doing that, you're going to have to go ahead and give up some Zenny, some D metals, obviously some gears or sturdy bolts, and some type of ore, which you guys should have already found doing a lot of the main story. But hopefully, if not, you can go ahead and find that outside of this. Now once you have those all unlocked, you should see that you have these training rooms that you can do, the lowest being level 40. At level 40, this is where you're going to get into one of the things that makes this a lot easier to do. So at level 40, you can see that once you complete it, you will unlock unbridled power. Now unbridled power is something that you can equip on your super attack skills tree, and it will allow you to gain an increase in damage, but you ultimately lose HP over the course of the battle. So the first unbridled power is going to be a 20%, and then from 20%, it's going to go to 30 to 40%. So this is a 40% increase to the damage dealt, but again, you lose HP over the course of the battle. So in order to make this work, you're going to want to make sure that you have this unlocked and you have it equipped on Goku specifically. So if you go to Goku's skill palette, you'll see that he has his super attacks, but then you also have to go over to your know house. Now again, you should have unbridled power unlocked just from doing that first training with Raditz, and you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade it in your super attack skill tree, and then go ahead and put it over on Goku on his know-how. This is going to give Goku a 40% increase in attacks as he's fighting. Now the next thing that you need is to make sure that you at least have the Spirit Bomb unlocked, which you should have had unlocked, I believe, with the Frieza Saga, or at least at the end of the Frieza Saga. So you're going to be starting with the X Spirit Bomb. Now as you see on the Super Attack Skills tree, you have to unlock the Spirit Bomb by doing the training. Once you do that, you can use your Z Orbs to power it all the way up to where you're going to eventually get to at least Super X Spirit Bomb. Now, hopefully from here, you can keep upgrading it and go all the way up to the ultimate spirit bomb, just depending on what level you are. I believe the ultimate spirit bomb for the training is at level 90, I believe. I apologize if I'm mistaken, but this is definitely the one that you're going to want to aim for, which is why this video is recommended for those that are around level 85 to around 90. Okay, so once you have your Super X Spirit Bomb or the Ultimate Spirit Bomb unlocked, and you're going to want to go ahead and go over to the skill palette and make sure that you have it equipped for Goku specifically. Obviously, nobody else can do the move. Now, another thing I might recommend doing until you are pretty comfortable with this is going ahead and making sure that you have some type of heals. I would usually rely on the Super Heal Aid or the Ultra, Ultra Heal Aid which is what you can get outside in the market, or obviously you can go and get the Sensu Beans from the core and Tower. But I definitely recommend having these equipped until you're at least comfortable with doing this. Now, once you have all of that done, you're going to want to go ahead and go to Goku in the training room and make sure that you go to the recommended level 85. You don't want to do the Android one just because Android 20 and Android 19 have a special power where basically they can absorb your key energy or your key blasts. And it just makes the point of this just worthless. So make sure that you're doing Frieza. And again, he's at a level 85. So I would probably recommend doing this around level 85 to 90. Now, before we go ahead and get into the battle, I just want to explain the simple process. 
the first thing you're going to want to do when you get into this battle is you're going to want to transform into Super Saiyan 3. Once you transform into Super Saiyan 3, you're going to want to go ahead and do your Ultimate Spirit Bomb or your Super X Spirit Bomb immediately. Once he lets off that Spirit Bomb and it goes towards the enemy, you're going to want to go ahead and power up your key, which is either Triangle on PlayStation or I don't know the button on Xbox. But either way, you're going to want to power it up to about 80%. So watch that blue bar at the bottom right. Once that's powered up enough, you're going to just want to go ahead and do another Spirit Bomb. Now what makes this so incredible is that your Spirit Bomb does enough power as is. But with that 40% increase from the unbridled power, as well as the fact that you're Super Saiyan level 3, you're going to be doing some pretty big hit marks around like the million mark for each hit, which obviously with the Spirit Bomb, it does multiple hits. So with that being said, you should only need to do this about three or four times to get a Spirit Bomb off. What makes it incredible is that the Spirit Bomb being as big as it is for an attack actually acts as an AoE, which allows you to hit multiple enemies at once doing multiple damage. So again, you should only need to do three or four. Now, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the process that I do. And there we go. So you see I get 325,000 XP roughly. So with doing that, you should be able to do two of those within a minute, which means you'll get anywhere from 620 to 650,000 XP, just depending on if you got an S or an A. Now with it being said, you should be able to do around 1.3 million XP every two minutes, which makes this an incredibly easy way to gain XP. Now what makes this incredible is that every single time that you do this, most of the experience points that you get will actually go and level up all of the characters or all of the playable characters that you have. So as you can see here, I have Goku at 100, Gohan at 98, Vegeta at 97, and every time I do this with Goku, I believe it's around 200,000 of that 325,000 actually goes to all of my other playable characters. So if you're having trouble leveling up your playable characters and you want to use like i don't know for instance the sword on trunks but for some reason trunks does absolutely no damage because he's a low level this is your best bet to level them up and level them up pretty fast so basically from here on out you can just keep grinding this out and doing it and then leveling up your characters as well so you should have a party of about three level 100s making a lot of your other fights a lot easier now again i recommended at the beginning of this video that you do this around level 85 just because you're going to have that Super X Spirit Bomb or that Ultimate Spirit Bomb. Now, with that being said, guys, I hope this video was extremely helpful. Let me know if you guys have a faster way to farm XP. I would be extremely curious. Now, in addition to that, if this video was helpful, if you guys like Dragon Ball Z, if you want to show your support, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate that. At 1,000 subscribers, we will be doing some type of giveaway, so you don't want to miss out on that. Let's go ahead and go for five likes on the video. Go ahead and drop a comment, or if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it below. Now, with that being said, I am Cerebro. I am out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.